Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Vinyl Thoughts. Today, we're going to talk about the band Kiss. You love them, you hate them. I'm sure both kinds of people are watching this video right now. If you hate them, you probably already turned this shit off. But anyway, we're going to talk about how I discovered Kiss. So let's go back to 1987. I was nine years old, just pretty much getting into a lot of rock bands. I'd found my way in through bands like Van Halen and Def Leppard, and I was basically just taking in whatever information I could find about whatever bands that would come my way, no matter who they were. If it sort of seemed rock and roll, I was probably going to give it a listen. So one afternoon after school, I went over to a friend's house, and we spent a little time hanging out in his older brother's bedroom. His older brother was a teenager. And we looked through his records, we looked through his dirty magazines, and uh, we pretty much just kind of took in what it was like hanging out in a teenager's bedroom. And I remember seeing an album by the band Kiss, and I'm like, wait, I know, I've heard this name before. Um, I wonder what this shit sounds like. So the album that I first heard by Kiss was this one, Crazy Nights. Came out in 1987 in the height of Kiss being more of a pop band than a rock band. Yeah, I know there are guitar solos and it's still technically a rock and roll band. But as Kiss goes, this is some fucking pop shit right here. And, I mean, I'm just stopping for a second just so you can marvel in the glory of... Paul Stanley. I don't know who told him he was attractive. Somebody had to have, because around this time, it was like he was the sex symbol of the band. And I'm like, okay, I don't really aspire to look like you, but you know, whatever. Anyway, if you haven't heard this album before, it is uh, filled with keyboards and synthesizers and all sorts of songs that uh, Paul Stanley wrote with these pop music co-writers. And, uh, um, yeah, it's got some of the fucking cheesiest shit. And, and uh, you know, like, uh, uh, Bang Bang You, uh, My Way. Holy fuck, that's a cheesy-ass song. Reason to Live. So, uh, it's, it's one of those albums that, in my opinion, is so bad that I enjoy the fuck out of it. I think it is so enjoyable, uh, so much fun to listen to, but at the time... Um, I remember like hearing it and thinking to myself, it's on Mer Mercury Records, it's an 87 pressing, anyway, back to my story. Um, I remember hearing it and thinking, this is alright, but why is Kiss such a big name and this is what their music sounded like? So, very soon after that, I went to a record store and looked through the Kiss albums and tried to sort of figure out, where can I go to find the music that made KISS this big fucking band that they are. And what I stumbled upon was... The, holy shit. As you can see, the fucking cover is not made to uh, actually show you anything because it's uh, going to reflect everything in the fucking world. Anyway, this is uh, Double Platinum, which is a <laughs> 19... Can you see any of that shit? There's faces and stuff. Anyway, uh, Double Platinum is a... Greatest Hits collection came out in 1978. Now, the copy that I got when I was a kid was on cassette. This is a 1978 vinyl pressing of this album, and it pretty much collects all the hits from the first Kiss album all the way through to Love Gun. And um, it's honestly an amazing place to start if you're going to ever become a Kiss fan. So, it gave me everything I needed, and from that point on, I have been a KISS fan because I got where they started and where they ended up, and it started to make a little bit more sense because this KISS didn't sound like Crazy Nights. Crazy Nights sounded more like what I was seeing on MTV, and so it started to make sense. Even as a young kid, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. They're they're not in the 70s anymore. They're doing the, the hairband thing, so... It made sense. But I loved all of this shit. The only thing that I think is is weird about this compilation 
is that they edited songs in, in kind of a weird way where they just cut out parts of songs to make them shorter. And then in the case of uh, the song Strutter, which I think they, they renamed like Strutter 78 or something like that. Yeah, Strutter 78. And the only reason it's called Strutter 78 is because they took the original drums off of it and added a disco drum beat behind it. So if you know your history, Around this time is when they ended up doing I Was Made For Loving You, their little foray, 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 who, who the fuck cares, into disco. I actually think that's a pretty fucking great song, but whatever. Anyway, um, so I don't know what else to say about this. It's a pretty cool pressing of this album. Do, do, does it come with any of the extras? It fucking does. Look what we got here. It's my own platinum vinyl of, uh, of this album made out of cardboard. Um, that's pretty great. Um, as far as I know, the, the Kiss Army order form and shit aren't in here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of disappointing, but you know, whatever. You get what you can get when you're getting old ass vinyl. Um, so yeah, there you go. The, uh, Casablanca logo, double platinum. Um, yeah. Like I said, it is a, uh, pretty great compilation if you're trying to get into Kiss. And for me, at the time when I was nine, ten years old, um, it was pretty fucking amazing to me because I was like, they wrote all these fucking badass songs? I get it now. So funny enough, Crazy Nights was the highest charting Kiss album of the 1980s, but it wasn't enough for me. Um, I love the old Kiss, but I honestly didn't go back to listen to the 80s Kiss stuff until much later. I was moving on. I was getting into heavier and heavier shit. Now as an older dude who looks at things in a very different way i see an album like crazy nights and i honestly enjoy it just as much as i enjoy everything off of double platinum now do i agree that it's a the same caliber of 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 performing and songwriting fuck no but you know whatever to each their own maybe you disagree maybe you love that 80s kiss shit in fact put some comments down below what do you think about kiss no, never mind. Don't don't tell me what you think about Kiss. Just whatever. Anyway, another vinyl thoughts in the can. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for continuing to watch these videos. I'll keep putting them out and I will see you all again very very soon.